hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to see a continuous deployment into cloud run with github so whenever we make a push into github it's going to uh, dip, get deployed into a cloud run right so cloud github is going to be our code repository and uh, it's going to call the cloud build whenever there is a trigger happens and the cloud build is going to build and uh, create the docker image and push it to a cloud container registry and that's going to get deployed into cloud run it's, if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, share the knowledge let's go into the video i'm using the same project which we have used for last video give you the link in the description you can uh, go ahead and check out the project as well and how it is created it's just a simple spring boot application with this endpoint when we give the name it updates the db with uh, the name so you can see here uh, if we hit the url it's getting updated here in the google cloud spanner right so i'm using the same project to um, deploy into cloud run right so here you can see uh, our, pro our repositories there so I have created two more files, which is a cloud build. And this can be either a YAML file or it can also be a JSON file, right? So these are the two formats that are accepted for now. So you can see here, uh, I've given the steps um, to be clear. Uh, just it downloads the Maven uh, dependencies. Then it moves into creating the Docker image with the doc uh, the, with the cloud builder so now i'm using the docker uh, to build the docker image so you can see there is a docker file created and this file will be referred whenever there is a build command is called right so this simply uh, executes so like i i am i don't know much about the docker uh, things but this is what is required to build the doc, uh, java image right so let's uh, we are using a random number here to uh, generate the file uh, and here you can see once the uh, image is built and then it will be pushed into our cloud container registry okay so we have uh, multiple um, uh, let's say this is uh, Google Container Registry.io is one endpoint like is similar to this we have multiple right so us dot gcr dot io which was near you can use that and uh, once after the image is pushed into the container registry it will get deployed into cloud run right so I'm, I've enabled the cloud logging that's what it is and this is just the name image is what we have here right i have committed these files let's move into the uh, github once you are in github you can see that these two files are already committed and let, you can go to settings and go to applications and here you can see that i have installed this cl google cloud um, app integration uh, extension so you can go ahead to marketplace and you can install this if you want right I've installed it here go to configure and uh, you can see select spanner demo this is what the project I want to integrate to click on save it should take you to the Google Cloud you should authenticate it and you have to select the project and here you will be able to select the repository and connect to it so I'm selecting this click OK connect and that should uh, this this is enough to connect the repository here right let's click on done and now our repository is connected to google cloud right you can go ahead to manage repositories and see what all are connected and if you want, don't want you can uh, disconnect it if you want to add, add the trigger you can add it to it right let's go ahead to cloud run okay and here we are go to create service and we are going to make a continuous deployment 
whenever there is a new version is pushed into git repository and let me click set up google cloud build and i'm going to select the one is our this is our repository click on next and we are going to make use of the docker file and there you go you can save it and uh, i'll just reduce the instance to two right and then i'm going to allow the unauthenticated traffic for now right this is um, our test and then i'm just going to allow the unauthenticated traffic to the google cloud uh, container instance let's click on create and you can also if you want to view the other security things you can review it here so if you look at the capacity it's going to create the one cpu with this file lmb memory and i'm going to you can also select the environments if you want let's create and this will create and it will also trigger the google cloud build you can see here it's not executed fine so that's why we have created our own build file right so let's go ahead to the trigger so this is what the trigger which it created right we were not having any trigger previously so this happens whenever we push in entry into uh, whenever we push any new change into our main branch right this is the main branch which uh, this is the location where we will mention our branches and here you can see this is an inline uh, yaml file so here you can see what is happening right so it is trying to build and push and then run I like to deploy the application so let us cancel this and we will select the one which is from our repository let's select this once you select this you are in line uh, yaml file will go off once you save this one we are going to make use of gcr instead of us one and i'll just make this change save it and go ahead and make a manual run and see whether this is getting deployed well it started you can go ahead and see what's happening in here so it will pull the maven from uh, docker and then it will try to download all the dependencies for our so you can see that docker.iu library maven latest so it is taking this maven and uh, version and the latest maven version and try to pull all the dependencies for our project right so once this step is completed it will move on to the next one and the build is failed because it's not able to add this target gcp spring if you go ahead and look at our docker file we said that it has to add this target but ideally our pom file is generating a different file this is the spanner demo let me go ahead and update this one here right and we will save this and push push it once you push this it will automatically trigger one more build you can see it in the history it should get triggered automatically so here you can see there is one more build that got triggered right so this is because uh, we connected it through the github to our uh, cloud build so while this is running i'll show you one more thing which you should know so which is the cloud container registry so this is where our images will get it pushed into you can see you can also go to uh, artifact registry you can see this is this is where our uh, artifacts will get pushed pulled into right and then uh, here you can see the container registry so this is where our images will get pushed into once our cloud build is completed and there is an error right let's see what it is creating a revision and finish step 3 we found that we are using Oh, Java version 17 here and that was, that was the reason 
uh, our application was not getting deployed into cloud rain because it reports only till Java 11 right the, the docker uh, image right the docker uh, whatever the docker build what we ran so what we are going to do the JRE there it's uh, Java 11 it's not getting supported so now I've updated this to uh, 1.8 let me uh, commit this file We go back here so that's what I found here and uh, stack overflow and uh, see this is what the error was it was um, so the class version was 61 that is 17 and the version of the current uh, we have is 55 that is 11 so let me go to cloud build so that's what the error was and go to history so it should uh, trigger a build now for now let me go here and see what is the progress it should have created uh, the container registry images we have uh, tried this couple of times before we are here so you can see that I've tried uh, for the first time second third and this is the last time which we uh, tried and if you go here so now the application is deployed so you can see all are in the green tick mark right so it is deployed so you can go here to the uh, cloud run and just refresh the page you can see the application is be, uh, the cloud run is running the container right so here you can see there is a success you can go ahead to the revision and see what is the current revision is running see or the previous none of the revision uh, was working fine so the current version is deployed and you can see the URL here and you can go ahead and copy this go and paste it so you can see here it's running so the application the, the container takes a little time to uh, start the application in it and here you can see uh, you have seen the link and now we can uh, let's let's go ahead to spanner let's go ahead here in the spanner this is where our database is getting called in um, in from our application go the data it has only the unbuoni here let's go ahead and see greet slash uh, test from cloud run right and there you go it posted the uh, it, it we got the response let's go ahead and see here and that's it so we got uh, the application deployed and it is also up and running uh, you can see the cloud run uh, uh, here it is deployed and it is also now whenever you push an applica uh, application change into github it automatically triggers the cloud build and it triggers the deployment see uh, whenever you uh, deploy in a uh, new version so the, it also maintains the revision you can see the revisions and you can also split the traffic between uh, multiple uh, revisions as well so here you can see you can also uh, add the url to this revision and you can also split the traffic manage traffic and you can also split 50 percent of the traffic to this version and the 50 percent of the traffic to this version and you can also do a deployment then uh, you can also re um, um, move back to a previous revision so that's a benefit out here and you can also edit the continuous deployment here in order to, if you are moving to a different branch or a different uh, uh, repository altogether you can also do that so uh, it's all that simple uh, hope this uh, helps you so if uh, you guys are trying this uh, try this and then uh, um, keep in mind that you have to delete this uh, images because it, this will be holding some space in uh, uh, Google Cloud so if you go to uh, let's me I have not created a Google storage right let me go to Google storage 
and you can see there will be a storage created for me it is automatically created I think it's going to something different storage Kubernetes engine no cloud storage so here you can see there is an artifact uh, storage it is created let me go inside this so you can see the folders the containers images and you can see the images which we created right so all these are here so I think uh, this is enough for this video um, this this helps you uh, in making your deployment easy uh, thanks for watching the video keep sharing the knowledge Thank you.